good morning dear students welcome to all last class we completed till the question number 2 today we are going to see question number 3 question number 3 listen to me find the simplified form find the simplified form okay we learned about ratio once again i tell about ratio okay ratio is comparison of two quantities with the same kind okay ratio as no units ratio can be written in fractional form then ratio can be simplified now we are going to simplify the ratio ratio is 15 is to 20 ratio can be written in fractional form so i am writing as 15 divided by 20 okay simplified means cancelling dividing the numerator and denominator by the same number okay now i am taking five table four times three times okay now three and four can we cancel by any same table no okay four will come in the two table three will come in the three table but it's not in the same table so write as it is 3 by 4 then ratio form 3 is to 4 okay clear next question likewise write in the fractional form 32 divided by 24 okay you can cancel by any table but it must be same table okay if you know only two table you go from the two table okay you know only i know the four table okay you can go in the four table listen i am going in the four table four table 24 how many times it will come six times here 32 8 times okay next again shall we cancel 8 and 6 is there okay we can cancel by two table four here 3 4 and 3 we cannot cancel by any table write 4 by 3 then 4 is to 3 it simplified simplified means dividing the numerator and denominator by the same number likewise 7 by 15 7 by 15 okay we know that 7 will come only in 7 table in 7 table 15 will not come yes or no so we cannot cancel here So write the ratio as it is. Seven is to fifteen. Likewise, twelve is to twenty-seven. Twelve is to twenty-seven. Write as fractional form. Twelve by twenty-seven. Okay, already I told you. Okay, follow the same table. Here I am going in the three table. Three table. Twelve. How many times will come? Four times. Here, nine times. I saw no. Then four and nine. we cannot cancel by same table okay it will come in the two table it will come in the three table you cannot cancel like that you have to cancel by same table 4 by 9 cannot be cancel by any same table so i am writing as it is 4 is to 9 likewise 75 is to 100 75 is to 100 75 by 100 okay You know five table well, yes or no? So five table, ten. How many times? Two times. Then zero as it is. Then seventy five is there. Seventy five also two table. Ah, uh, sorry, five table it will come. How come you can find out? It will come in the five table. Five table means it ends with five and zero. Five and zero. So now five table five ones are five. Reminder two, it will become as twenty five. The next digit twenty five. How many times it will come in the five table? Five times, fifteen, twenty. Okay. Again, shall we cancel by five table? Yes, because ends with five. Here ends with zero. Three times, four times. Three by four. You can write this as three is to four. Three by four. You cannot cancel by any table. Next question. Question number four. Listen to me. A kilan walks ten kilometer an hour. Why are Selvi walks six kilometer an hour? Find the simplest ratio of the distance covered by a kilan to Selvi. Okay. Here, listen. A kilan walks ten kilometer an hour. Or Selvi walks six kilometer. Okay. So now we are going to find the simplest ratio of a kilan to Selvi, a kilan to Selvi. So a kilan is ten kilometer ratio. Okay, next Selvi six kilometer. Okay, ten is to six. 
see here both are same kilometer kilometer is same then only we can write in the ratio form okay 10 is to 6 the question is simplest ratio what is the question simplest ratio simplest ratio means what will you do you will write in the fractional form then we can go for the cancellation i am writing as 10 by 6 then you know two table well yes or no we will try in the two table three times here yeah? five times five by three five by three you cannot cancel by any table five is to three so simplest ratio of Achillean to Selvi is 5 is to 3. 5 is to 3. Okay, simplest means what is it? Dividing the numerator and denominator by the same number. Likewise, only question number 5 also. Listen to the question. The question is the cost of parking a bicycle is 5 rupees. Okay, cost of parking a bicycle is 5. Cost of Parking a scooter is 15. Find the simplest ratio of the parking cost of your bicycle to scooter. Okay, simplest ratio, same way. Okay, bicycle to sc scooter. Bicycle, 5 rupees. 5. Scooter, 15 rupees. 15. Okay, write in the fractional form. 5 by 15. Cancel by which table? 5 table is easy. 5 1s are 5. 5 3 is 15. 1 is to 1 by 3. Okay, 1 by 3 can be written as 1 is to 3. So, the simplest ratio of bicycle to a scooter is 1 is to 3. 1 is to 3. Okay. Here, very easy. Find the simplest ratio. Okay. Write the numbers properly. Cancel by same table. Okay. Next question. Listen. Out of 50 students in a class. Out of 50 students. That means how many are in the class? 50. So, total number of students, 50. Okay, total number of students, 50. Number, there are 30 are boys. 30 are boys. So, number of boys, 30. Okay, who will be the remaining? Remaining will be occupied by girls. So, number of girls, you find out. It's not given. How will you find out? From the total to subtract the boys. 50 minus 30 is 20. So, number of girls, 20. Number of girls, 20. Number of boys, 30. Now, we can go for the question. Option 1 is given as number of boys to number of girls. Number of boys to girls. So, boys total is 30 is to girls is 20. So, this can be simplified, yes or no? So, I can write as 30 by 20. 30 by 20, 0, 0, we can cancel. 3 and 2, you cannot cancel. So, the answer is 3 is to 2. 3 is to 2. Likewise, the next option, number of girls to total number of students. Total number of students, number of girls. The girls are 20. Total number of students are 50. Total number of students are 50. You can write as 20 by 50. Cancel 0, 0. 2 and 5, we cannot cancel by any table. So, write as 2 is to 5. Okay, 2 is to 5. So, listen to me. Numerator should be first. Denominator should be second. Don't confuse with the, don't write wrongly. Okay, don't change and write. It will be 
change fully if you change and write okay 2 is the first one 5 is the second one okay numerator first denominator second likewise option 3 also listen number of boys 2 total number of students Okay, number of boys to total number of students. Number of boys, how many are? 30. Total number of students, 50. How will you write this? Fractional form, 30 divided by 50, 0, 0, we can cancel. Then, 3 is to 5. Okay, here it is very easy. Listen to the question properly. Girls and boys and students, total number of students. Find out that, then go for the ratio. Okay, whichever you are writing in the ratio, it should be simplified form. Okay, if you write one ratio, that should be in the simplified form. Okay, clear? We can go for the next question. Okay, next is objective type question. Question number 7. The ratio of rupees 1 to 20 pace is dash. Okay, ratio of rupees 1 to 20 pace. Okay, ratio means first it should be in the same unit. Okay, listen. Here rupees it is pace. Okay, always change into the lowest unit. Okay, here the lowest one is pace. So, 1 rupee equal to how many pace, my dear? 1 rupee equal to 100. 100 pace. So, I am changing this rupees 1 to 100 is to 20. 100 is to 20. It is not simplified. Okay. So, whenever you write the ratio, you have to simplify and write. So, I am writing this as 100 divided by 20, 100 divided by 20, 0, 0, we can cancel. Then 2 table, 2 ones are 2, 2 fives are 10. Then 5 by this one you must mention, okay, 1. Then you can write as 5 is to 1 because ratio is comparison of 2 quantities. 2 terms must be there in the ratio, okay, clear? So, uh, we used to know not mention that one yes sir no whenever you write the number okay it's ratio form so you must mention the denominator also whatever its denominator you must mention it okay clear the answer is option d answer is option d 5 is to 1 next question number 8 the ratio of 1 liter to 50 milliliter Ratio of 1 liter to 50 milliliter. Which is the lowest unit? Milliliter. 1 liter equal to how many milliliter? We, uh, we all have water bottle. Okay, we used to bring 1 liter water bottle. Yes or no? So, 1 liter equal to how many milliliter? 1000 milliliter. You can know now. 1 liter equal to how many milliliter? 1000 milliliter. Hi, here. 1000 milliliter instead of 1 liter I have written 2 ratio okay 50 okay this milliliter we change so no need to write the units okay 1000 is to 50 write in the fractional form 1000 divided by 50 0 0 cancel then 5 table 5 ones are 5 this two are uh, digit alone take it 5 twos are 10 
then this 0 as it is. Then 20 by 1, 20 by 1, do not leave this 1, it is ratio, so 2 terms must be there. 20 by 1, you can write as 20 is to 1, 20 is to 1. The answer is, what is the answer? Option C. Option C, 20 is to 1. Okay, clear everyone? Listen, very easy. Okay, first step, ratio must be, when you compare the ratio, it must be same unit. Okay, clear? Next question number 9. Question number 9, listen to me, the length and breadth of a window are 1 meter and 70 centimeter, okay, length and breadth, okay, it is given 1 meter and 70 centimeter, here this is length, it is breadth, okay, length and breadth are given. The ratio of the length to breadth. The ratio of the length to breadth. So, length is 1 meter to 70 centimeter is breadth. Is the same unit? Meter and centimeter is same? No. So, convert into lowest unit. Okay. That will be easy. Okay. So, now I am converting 1 meter to centimeter, 100 centimeter. 1 meter equal to how many centimeter? 100 centimeter. So, 1 meter I am changing as 100. 2 means is 2. 70. Okay. Now, both are in the same unit because 1 meter I change to centimeter. Now, fractional form 100 divided by 70. 0, 0 you can cancel. 7 table, 7 table 10 will not come. So, write as it is 10 is to 7. The answer is option D. Answer is option D, 10 is to 7. Likewise, question number 10. Question number 10, the ratio of the number of sides of a triangle, number of sides of a rectangle. Okay, triangle, how will you draw? We know that how many sides it has? Three sides. How many sides? Three sides. Okay, this is triangle rectangle rectangle how many sides we have rectangle we have four sides yes sir we have four sides the question is ratio of the number of sides of a triangle to the number of sides of a rectangle okay so triangle is 3 is to 4 rectangle is 4 so answer is 3 is to 4 option b option b Next question number 11, if Alagan is 15 years old, what is this here? 15 years old, okay, 15 years. Next, his son is 10 years old. Son, this is Alagan. Son's age is 10, son's age is 10. The simplest ratio between the age of Alagan to his son. Okay, Alagan to his son, they are asking ratio. So, 50 is to 10. 50 is to 10. This can be written as fractional form. 50 by 10. 0, 0, you can cancel. Then, 5 by 1. 5 by 1, you can write as 5 is to 1. 5 is to 1. So, the answer is option C. 5 is to 1. Okay, clear? Very easy, understand the question, simplified form, okay, do not forget that simplified form you have to do by the same table, do not go in the different table, same table, cancel in the same table, numerator and denominator. So, exercise 1.1 is over, now we are going for exercise 1.2.
before we are going to exercise 1.2 let me give intro about equivalent ratios already you have learned the fifth standard once again i recall okay we get equivalent ratios by multiplying or dividing the numerator and denominator by a common number the common number denotes the same number okay once again we get equivalent ratios when we get an equivalent ratios by multiplying or dividing by multiplying or dividing the numerator and denominator by a common number for example they are telling us to find the equivalent ratio of 2 is to 7 2 is to 7 so the 2 is to 7 you can write in the fractional form okay the condition is when we get multiplying or dividing okay first see to that either you can divide or not okay 2 and 7 you cannot divide so we are going for multiplication always first go for the division then go for the multiplication okay so now i multiply i'm going to multiply okay you can ask me the same number what is the same number you can take any number you can go for the 10 100 or 1000 or 10000 lakh 5 6 7 any number it may be any number you can multiply by any number numerator and denominator if i take 3 here also it must be 3 okay here if i take 10 here also must be 10 so if i multiply by 3 2 3 is a 6 7 three is a 21 then 10 if i multiply by 10 2 10 is a 20 7 tens a 70 so you can find more equivalent ratios by multiplying the number okay multiply by same number don't go for the different number now we can go for the exercise exercise 3.2 first question philips Okay, Phillips for the given equivalent ratios. Okay, given are equivalent ratios. Okay, because when you have the equal symbol, okay, that must be equivalent ratio. So, what is the given ratio here? Three by five. Yes or no? Three by five equal to nine. This denominator is not given. Yes or no? Denominator is not given. Ratio first write in the fractional form. Okay, that we know very well. Okay, now. See that three is here. In this nine is there. To be which number if it is multiplied, you will get nine. So for example, try from the two table always. Three two is a six. Three three is a nine. So here they multiplied by which table? Three table. So numerator multiplied by three table means denominator also multiplied by three table. Multiply by three table. Five three is a fifteen. So here, fifteen should come. Okay, clear. Once again, I explain you. Listen to me properly. What is given ratio? Write there. Here, numerator alone is given. Write it. Okay, find how come the nine came. Okay, so for that, if you multiply the three by three, you will get nine. 
numerator multiplied by 3 means denominator also multiplied by 3. So, 5 3 is a 15. Okay, this is one of the way. One more way we have. The other way is what number is here? 9. Yes or no? 9. What number is here? 3. If we divide these two number, what number you are getting? 3. So, by 3 the number should be multiplied. Okay, by 3 the number should be multiplied. Dividing this numerator and this numerator. If you divide you can find out. Or else you can go for the tables. 2 table, 3 table, 4 table. You can tell the table and you can find out how many times it comes. Okay, 3 table if you tell it is very easy. 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6, 3 threes are 9. Okay, you can go for the table or else you can go for the division. Okay, dividing the both numerators. Okay, next 4 by 5 equal to numerator is not given. Denominator is 10. Denominator is 10. Now, see the denominator answers are given. Denominator answers are given. Yes or no? So, which table you will go? 5 table. Do you all know 5 table? Very easy. Okay, find out how many times 10 will come. 5 ones are 5. 5 twos are 10. So, how many times it is coming? 2 times. Here 2 times means here also it is multiplied 2 times. 4 twos are 8. Okay, so the answer is 8. Very easy. Okay, understand the concept properly. What is given? Write correctly. Okay, numerator means numerator, denominator means denominator. Okay, likewise the next option. Okay, 6 is to, what is this? Okay, we don't know. Equal to 1 is to 2. What is given? You write 6 by, denominator is not given, box 1 by 2. Okay, which should be find out denominator this side. Yes or no? So, now listen to me. Numerators are filled. Yes or no? Numerators are filled. Okay, this one table. Okay, we are going to tell the one table from this one only we are going to find out. 1 1 is 1, 1 2 is 2, 1 3 is 3, 1 4 is 4, 1 5 is 5, 1 6 is 6. So, the 1 if multiplied by 6 times we are getting the 6. Here multiplied by 6 means here also multiplied by 6. So, 2 6 is 12. The answer is 12. The given ratio write properly 1 by 2 means 1 by 2. Okay, multiply it properly. Okay, which is given? Given numerator means numerator, given denominator means denominator. Okay, compare the numerator, then go for finding the denominator. Okay, next question number 2 complete the table. It is based on equivalent ratios only. Listen, feet and inch are given. Okay, here listen, these two box we are going to fill. Okay, these two box we are going to fill. Okay, the first one, 1 feet 12 inches, 2 feet 24, what will be the 3? So, find the simplest one, this is the simplest ratio, 1 by 12, 1 by 12. Then third one, take the third one, which should be find out, equal to 3 and the box. Okay, compare the first one and third one. Why did I take the first one for the comparison? Because simplified one, which is simplified ratio, take that. It is only simplified. Simplified means, okay, lowest number you find out. Okay, now 1 by 12. So, here 3 is here. Yes or no? Compare the numerators first. Okay, 1 table, 1 ones are 1, 1 twos are 2, 1 threes are 3. If you multiply by 3 only, you are getting the answer as 3. So, here if you multiply by 3, here also multiply by 3. 12 threes are 36. Answer is 36. Likewise, 1 by 12. Okay, 1 by 12. Then what is the next one? Here the numerator we do not know. Box. 
denominator 72 denominator 72 you must know the 12 table now 12 ones are 12 12 twos are 24 12 threes are 36 12 fours are 48 12 fives are 60 12 six are 72 how many times it's coming six times if you multiply 12 six times you're getting 72 so 12 6 are 72 here if i multiplied by 6 here also multiplied by 6 1 6 are 6 so the answer is here 6 okay once again i will explain you listen to me very easy concept but little bit you will get confusion listen okay which is simplified one find okay given books which is simplified one okay you couldn't find out the simplified means which is the lowest number find out from here okay which is the lowest number 1 and 12 yes or no okay so this fraction is lowest one okay here if you see the up 1 is the lowest one if you see the down 12 is the least one so 1 by 12 this fraction is the least one from this only we are going to find the other ratios okay so multiply the number and find out properly likewise only next option Listen, same method, find the simplified ratio, okay. So now, here, everything, this is the smallest one, if we compare to the down, here this is the smallest one. So this is a simplified ratio, you cannot tell, because 21 by 3 can be cancelled by table, yes or no, you can cancel this table, you can cancel by the table, okay, it can be simplified, 3 ones are 3. 3 7 is 21. So the simplified ratio is 7 is to 1. Simplified ratio is 7 is to 1. Whenever you take one ratio, even you can take this, nothing in wrong that, but you have to simplify like this. Okay. So whatever it's given, okay, take that one fraction, uh, uh, sorry, take that one ratio and simplify it. Okay. So I simplify. The simplified ratio is 7 is to 1. Okay. By this only, I'm going to find the other ratios okay this i am going to find out numerator we don't know denominator is 2 denominator is 2 so given denominator compare one table 2 how many times it will come 2 times so here if we multiplied by 2 here also multiplied by 2 7 2 is a 14 likewise 7 by 1 then here numerator is 63 denominator we are going to find out okay listen 7 table you have to tell 7 ones are 7 7 twos are 14 likewise if you go 7 nines are 63 7 nines are 63 here if multiplied by 9 means down also multiplied by 9 1 nines are 9 so the answer here it's 14 here it's 9 okay clear Find out the simplified one, then go for the multiplication. It is very easy. Question number three, say true or false. Five is to seven is equivalent to twenty-one is to fifteen. Twenty-one is to fifteen. So five is to seven can be written as five by seven. Okay, it's given as equivalent. Equivalent means equal symbol. We know that twenty-one is to fifteen is given. 
either it's equivalent or not we are going to find out here 21 in 5 table 21 will not be coming yes or no number will be ends with only 0 and 5 so it's a false statement the given is false statement how did I find out saying the 5 table saying the 5 table ok 5 table 21 will not come likewise 7 table 15 will not be coming so the given statement is false option 2 40 is divider in the ratio 3 is to 2 the larger part is Twenty-four. It's like two more question. Listen, forty is divided in the ratio three is to two. Total is forty. Okay, total is forty. Okay, the parts ratio is not the same number. Okay, first you must understand ratio is a not the original number. It's not the original number. For example, if you take a pizza okay we will cut the pizza yes or no okay you you may cut by three parts four parts okay according to your family okay so now here i am cutting as three parts okay so i can tell two parts can be taken by you one part can be taken by your friend it's not the quantity of the pizza it's a part of the pizza yes or no i said the part of the pizza i didn't mention how much quantity and all i said the part of the pizza two parts can be taken by you one part can be taken by your friend so likewise the ratio is not a original quantity it's a parts okay it's a part so the total part you find out Total part means what will you do? Add 3 plus 2, 5. So, totally 5 parts you have. Totally you have 5 parts. In that, okay, so the smaller part means what will you find out? 2 will be a smaller one. Larger part will be a 3. So, the larger part is 24 is given. Larger part is 24 is given. We are going to check that. How to find out? Listen to me. For example, go for finding your max. Okay, max mark is 10. Max mark is 10. So, what is the out of mark we will ask? You used to tell that 10 out of 15 or is 10 out of 50. The denominator represent the total marks. Denominator represent the total marks. So, we used to tell 10 out of 15. 10 out of 50. Okay, what is the total mark? We will tell. Likewise, here the larger part, okay, larger part is 3, larger part is 3, the total is 5. Total is 5, 3 by 5. Okay, so we, we will tell as 3 by 5 into the total is given as 40. What is this total means? This is quantity. Okay, this is only original quantity of the things. Okay, multiply by 40. Multiply by 40. 5 ones are 5. 5 8s are 40. So, 3 8s are multiply 24. So, the larger part is 24. The given is true. Once again, I will explain you. First time you are learning, little bit you will have a confusion about the parts and the total. Okay, best example is pizza. Okay, pizza quantity may be uh, 500 milligram or 1000 milligram or 1 kilogram. Okay, that we will not know. Yes or no? If you see the back of the cover, you can know. Okay, we are going for the parts always. We are not going for the weight. This weight for you, that weight for you, we are not really. We used to cut as a parts okay equal parts we will cut why we will cut the equal parts because your your siblings will fight with you or your friends will fight with you so we we go for the equal parts cutting pizza so if i cut three parts okay two parts is taken by you one part is taken by your friend i told you it's not a original quantity 
okay original quantity likewise only this problem also the total quantity is 40 this is only original originally you have 40 rupees the 40 rupees given to two boys okay the part is 2 is to 3 it's not a original amount 2 is to 3 you can keep the like this okay so now find the total part 3 plus 2 5 then we are going to find the larger part alone larger is 3 out of 5 parts out of 5 parts so 3 by 5 into total okay total is original quantity here by multiply by 40 5 table cancel 5 1s are 5 5 8s are 40 then multiply 3 8s are 24 so the larger part is 24 the question also is given larger part is 24 so the answer is true okay next easiest one question number 4 we will see now question number 4 give two equivalent ratios equivalent ratios means what will you do multiply or divide by the divide the numerator and denominator by the same number 3 is to 2 you can write as 3 by 2 3 by 2 you cannot divide so I am going for the multiplication multiply by 2 3 twos are 6 2 twos are 4 likewise same number 3 by 2 this is first one ok you can multiply by any number I said 2 table very easiest one you found it if you know 10 table you can go directly 10 table 30 by 20 so we found the two equivalent ratios so the number right in the ratio 6 is to 4 and 30 is to 20 6 is to 4 and 30 is to 20 we can multiply by any number this can be done by any number likewise next option also 1 is to 6 1 is to 6 write in the fractional form multiply by any name uh, 2 table 2 table 1 2 is a 2 6 2 is a 12 likewise 1 by 6 here I multiply by 5 table you all know 5 table is so no 5 table is 1 5 is a 5 6 5 is a 30 then write the ratios 2 is to 12 and 5 is to 30 Likewise, option 3 also, 5 is to 4, 5 is to 4 you can write as 5 by 4, multiply by any number, I multiply by 3, 5 3 is are 50, 4 3 is are 12, okay, likewise 5 by 4, here you can multiply by any number, so 9 multiply by 100. 500 by 400 ok now the ratios are 15 is to 12 and 500 is to 400 ok boys listen to me properly here give two equivalent ratios to the question you can multiply by any number ok first you see to that either you can divide or not if you cannot divide go for the multiplying number multiplying the numerator and denominator by the same number it may be any number here I have taken 2 and 10 you can take any number answer may vary ok you will not get the same answer ok now here also I took 2 and 5 here I took 3 and 100 Okay, you can take 1000 also, 3 table, 4 table, 5 table, which table you are convenient, if you know the table clearly, you can take it, write the answer, the last, the ratio form, okay, ratio form only you should write the answer, okay, don't stop till this step, this step, last step is very important, if you didn't write this step, one mark will be reduced, okay, remaining problems we will see in the next class, this class is over with the equivalent ratios. Okay, boys? Thank you.